Hello and welcome back to another video. As you can see from the title, I am doing my makeup basket of shame. I got this video idea from somebody who will be linked down below because as of this right here moment, I cannot uh, actually remember their name. So yeah, if you want to see the video that inspired me, it'll be linked down in the description. But here we are. I think I have close to 20 palettes that I have gotten throughout 2020 till now that I have not used for whatever reason and I'm going to go over why that is because sometimes it's just time and then sometimes it's just bad so yeah let's get into it the first palette I want to do is the essence coffee to glow palette I specifically got this palette because it was like only eight dollars if I remember correctly but I wanted to try this like gooey jelly shade in here like right there and then I didn't <laughs> and that's literally the only reason why this isn't open like it's a neutral palette so it's not like I need to open this one the only thing that was different was this swirl shade and this gooey shade so since those were the only differences I just never made an effort to actually use it plus I didn't have it where I kept all my other palettes so like I, I just never thought about it it's also like it's cardboard like I, I don't ever think oh yeah let me pick up this piece of cardboard that's I can only see this you know so that's one the next is the stranger things palette I got this when I went to the stranger things pop-up in the city with my sister for her birthday and this was $20 by the way I already swatched the shadows they're not that pigmented and most of them have these like glitters in them if you can see it so I just never made an effort to use it even though all of these are pretty and I bought it for a reason um, it's also like very big <laughs> so yeah I think the only matte is 11 and max is just like a closer matte shade but everything else is like those glitters in it so even if the glitters don't show up as like glittery as they look I just never made an effort to use it sir so, yeah this one is recent it's the ABH Norvina something volume two the mini one and my mom got this for me in a TJ Maxx I was like oh my god I always wanted this this is amazing get it get it get it tell me why I haven't used it I actually like the way it looks but because these are pressed pigments instead of like eyeshadow they're very pigmented which is a good thing if you want to see like full force deep green but if you don't and you kind of want to blend it out they're not the best at that also the only shimmer i like is the one in the middle you can see that one's smooth that green i thought i would like it but it's like crumbly so yeah not the best palette for like regular eyeshadow looks they also stain, by the way. Um, but if I ever wanted to paint my face with eyeshadow, these are perfect. Next is something that I got from my friend for my birthday. This is the Primark Color Grid Eyeshadow Palette. And this is reminiscent of the NYX ones, where it's like the different finishes, but all in the same shade. I really like this I like the way it's swatched you can see that I swatched it but I don't just wear like orange colors like actually I'm really into like pinks and mauves and purples right now um so yeah this would have been perfect when I was in high school because my number one palette from when I was in high school was from Primark why did I say it like that from Primark and it was this orangey shade honestly I think this is the same palette but like just reformulated so yeah I actually like the colors I just know for a fact that like unless I'm going for this look I'm not going for this look the mattes are nice though this is a bonus palette because it's not like a real palette but this is the cake liner palette from Ashley Strong and Morphe this one I literally didn't use because it's a cake liner palette and unlike my Suva one this one doesn't come with a brush meaning I would have to go into the Suva palette get the brush wet the brush have nowhere to sit it 
and then use these so yeah I haven't used it yet but I will I just don't have a look that I'm going for that requires these colors I just wanted to get it because these are cake liners that I don't have like literally all of these colors I don't have because even this like whitish shade right here isn't white like I have a white but I don't have this like tannish shade And before we move into ColourPop, because <laughs> that's that's the primary stacks over here, we're going to go to the other ones, my Nabla and BH. So, the first Nabla palette I haven't used, the Midnight palette. I specifically got this, honestly, I got all of my cuties half off. I don't buy them any other time. So, yeah, I specifically got it because besides the nude one, I wanted to get every single one the nude one i give and take but i would still like it um and these were half off at ulta so i got this one and i got the berry one at the exact same time and this is mad pretty especially alma down there and what is it called quiet storm it's pretty it's just i don't use them like i genuinely forget to get this if i'm going for blue i go for my blue moon palette that is my favorite blue palette so I literally just forget I have this until I look at it and I go oh yeah that's pretty <laughs> and speaking of the berry palette this is it this one I specifically want it because alchemy 2.0 this is a single shade that they sell but I guess revamped because they sell alchemy and this is the 2.0 that is put into this palette and I wanted that when I saw swatches so I was like this is a good palette to get I can try that out that's pretty but again have only swatched it <laughs> like no no reason just have not found a use for it and also with those I got the analog palette because like I said I wanted to get every single one of them this is what I specifically wanted because on trend mood when she put it in her boxes she put it in the analog and the midnight together and I don't buy trend mood boxes but I thought that these were like mad pretty so I specifically wanted to get these and this shade over here overexposed is immaculate I just literally haven't used it honestly I think this is what I'm gonna use next next video I'm using this it will be in the description so you know clock me on that if I don't use it but <laughs> this is mad pretty now this palette the avocado toast from BH besides the blueberry muffin this is the only BH palette that I literally wanted from the beginning I just never got it and then they were like saying that they were going bankrupt or out of stock and whatever the heck i found this at tj maxx this and the mimosa palette but i used the mimosa palette because even though i didn't really want that i did always want it just not as bad as the avocado and the blueberry one still haven't found the blueberry one and it's probably all snatched up by now it's like trying to go and find the pat mcgrath and tj maxx's like apparently they're there but they won't be a mine bet um but yeah this is pretty I just literally never used it <laughs> like as you can see I have swatched all of the shimmers because that's that's what I do when I actually like a palette but I just never got around to using it I don't know why like I used the mimosa palette and I didn't even want that one that much <laughs> and last for the BH is the lost in Los Angeles this one I specifically got because around the time when the Natasha Denona pastel palette came out there were so many people saying that this was the dupe for it and I knew number one that I was not going to pay $65 at the time for pasty mad pasty pasty <laughs> chalky pasty mats um so I knew BH could really do good I've seen people use this palette before so I knew that I would like the colors so even if it's not directly duped and obviously I can't move the shades around which is sad um this is great it's cheap it's great and honestly way better than the pastel palette because I saw so many comparisons and that one always just wasn't as pigmented and maybe for lighter skin people that's fine but 
if you can't see i'm not lighter skinned people um so yeah i'm not gonna really gamble with a 65 dollar palette when i could just get one that i know would actually work and this was my second palette i ever got from them like the trend day in tokyo was my first one and that was immaculate so that solidified this purchase okay now moving on to the color pop as you saw just hanging out the main squeeze this i actually got the bundle the rainbow bundle whatever the heck that was called as my first palettes because when i was getting into makeup in 2020 october 2020 to be quite exact i that's when i first got my first ever job and i was like i'm gonna buy myself all the things and i got that bundle because i was like it's literally every color i would need red orange yellow you know rainbow and obviously the blue moon palette has ran to the top but this one even though i never use it i know that it's useful like there, there's gonna be two of these shades but this dark dark red right here this is also in the star wars palette or a similar shade i specifically wanted the pat mcgrath palette from this year but held off because i was like the only thing different is that she put colorful mattes like that's that's like the only difference so didn't get it and it's a good thing that i didn't because like the only shades that i wanted i literally have so yeah this dark shade isn't as close as the one in the star wars palette that you will see later um but every single time i go oh yeah i can get rid of this i never use it i swatch it and i'm like yeah i'll keep it also i don't really have any like shimmery reds <laughs> i think this is like the only palette with like shimmery reds like especially this one right here that's like an actual red red and it's shimmery i don't have a lot of that like red mattes got you but not shimmery reds so that's another reason why i keep it also i, I just really don't declutter color pop because like if i don't like it i just depot it or if i can't use all the shades i depot it like i did with my aha uh -huh honey because why would i keep it <laughs> all together if i only use like literally two shades next is the nightmare before christmas this i specifically got because of the packaging and the shades in it because at the time i didn't have this sparkly black down here and these duochromes like now i have these duochromes 10 times over also the same with the like grays at the top here i didn't have any of those so i was like i get all of those shades that i don't have a shimmery white too and an orange that was like orange orange because i have the orange you glad because like i said i got the rainbow set but those oranges are a bit lighter i think it's only like two oranges that i actually use in there so yeah plus i had pinks <laughs> and i like pink but yeah as you can see i've swatched it honestly i feel like i did put this on my eyes at some point but i don't think i ever like made a full look ward outside the house so it don't count to me but yeah, I really like it because like, again, if I don't like something with ColourPop, I just depot it because the packaging can be used for something else. You don't really need to actually care about the shadows. It's just good if you like both. Honestly, I think that's what I said when I made my like collective haul when I got this. And it's the same thing with the Cabana Club. I genuinely wanted this, but I didn't get it until it was like way reduced at Ulta. And now that I have it, of course I never used it because that would make sense. But you know, I don't. This is mad pretty. Look at that blue and that orange. You can see that's the swatch heavy central over there. And that purple is so nice. I specifically got it because this yellow is like a different yellow that I don't have. Everything else is like neutrals, but these three shades, the blue, the orange, and that purple pulled me over again. <laughs> haven't used it for some reason but i just i like it and then this is also like a good palette to just have because the same thing that i did with my like garden variety which was i think my first ever ColourPop palette um i literally just depotted it x'd out the entire circles and made it into a magnetic palette so like worst case scenario i cut out the insert and just make it into a magnetic palette and then i'll actually use it so <laughs> this one the powerpuff girls i literally wanted this for the longest but i think it like 
went out of stock at Ulta or something like that. And then I just went, well, I guess I'm not getting it. And then it dropped on super great. And I was like, okay, definite get, definite get. Even though I have literally swatched this multiple times though, I have not used it. Because, I don't know, something just keeps going, nah. You don't need to wear neons today. But specifically that green, I want to use because I've been really freaking looking for like shimmery inner corner greens and that new Hocus Pocus palette. I used the greens in there and those were good. So I'm going to use this one. But yeah, I, I don't know why. For some reason, I just don't use it even though this literally is everything. Like I got the blush from this collection, have an entire single product review on it. Um, but I didn't get the palette. So when they dropped it on Super Great, I just snatched it up because I was like, why would I miss this chance? I can get it for free. Come on. Also, this is like mad heavy. I like I didn't notice this, but this palette and this Star Wars palette, mad heavy. Oh my freaking God. Number one, love this Star Wars palette. Love the look, love the aesthetics. Like, look at that. Amazing. But unfortunately, I never used it. Look at Hyperdrive. That is such a pretty shade. But yeah, this is the red that I was talking about down here. Super duper pretty. Called Republic. And then see, another shimmery red. But this I got because I wanted the Darth Vader palette. And I was like, this is similar to it. So I can have this and have more shades than in the Darth Vader one. Still kind of want it because I kind of have all of them so far. Well, besides the, the three CPO, whatever the heck the man's name is. I don't watch Star Wars. I just like the palettes. Um, the Child got me started and now I'm stuck. But the Mandalorian and the Child are immaculate. So I decided to get this one because this is also immaculate. The other two I just want for collector's mentality. But like, they're also pretty. Um, so yeah. I don't know why I never use this. Like, I specifically got it for that silver and these marbled shades. Crazy. But I just never... Never used it. Nothing else to say. Last from this stack is the Avatar palette. Now, this may seem like a dumb reason to not use something, but where is it? I keep the sleeve on this one because it's two different things. So I don't use it because I don't take the sleeve off. That's the only reason. Literal only reason. I I just I like to keep the things that look like books looking like books like it took me a full year to use the Odin's Eye Red Dragon palette even though I was obsessed with it from looking at it plus I love to watch Judy's channel but because they look like books I try to keep it all like nice and neat and even though I swatched it multiple times I just never used it because I, I genuinely I don't like taking covers off of things so yeah like, even with the plastic inserts, I leave all of those in my palettes because I like to keep them as clean as possible. But if the plastic insert falls out, I just throw it out, you know? But that's the only reason why I haven't used this. It's pretty. It's neutral. I, I could have used it at some point. I just didn't because it's a lot more effort to get this one out of the sleeve than I actually want to do when, like, putting on quick makeup. So, yeah, that's why I haven't used that one. Very dumb reason, but it's it's a reason. See, like, it takes so long to put this freaking thing back on. Like, imagine getting it off every single time you want to do your makeup. Okay, last stack. These three actually got together. So these three are, oh my god, yeah, see? Plastic getting in the way. Fine feathered. I specifically got this because I wanted it from Ulta and it was on last call on ColourPop. So I got it plush like me because number one the felt and number two look at that look at the greens which apparently this is like a similar palette to the Huda Beauty uh, khaki haze which I also wanted so it's good to know that I don't need to get that and lastly the so very lovely I specifically got it for obviously that purple shade right there everything else is just there 
but this is so pretty and apparently it released on my birthday. I didn't know that until I was watching a video just to see the swatches of it and it was like oh this is, will be releasing on May 20th and I was like <gasps> stop so I got it because of that even though I already wanted it for this quad right here this is everything everything else is just there I do like the silver though at the corner that's nice but yeah I don't know why I haven't used these these are clearly pretty honestly I know why I haven't used the fine cut oh my god see plastic insert falling out I haven't used this one because it's literally just so purple <laughs> like you you need to be wanting to wear purple oh god and then like there's only two shimmers so not much to do here that's why I haven't worn that one another one that I ordered directly from the site actually I think I might have ordered you know what? Let me not lie. I didn't order the So Very Lovely with those. I ordered this with those. The one and done. The So Very Lovely I ordered by itself because it was literally last call. That's what it was. Yeah. But this is the one and done palette. I specifically got it because this brown shade that my thumb's at right now. I was going to switch it with that pink shade at the bottom and then it would it would have been a nice gradient. Yep. Um, so that's primarily why I got it because these browns were in a nice order and it also has pinks. Also, I like this duochrome over here, but apparently it's in a lot of their other palettes. I didn't know that until I got it and I was like, oh, these look similar. But yeah, pink and brown. Number one colors for me. Also, the packaging. Look at that. It's cow print. Now this on a whimsy palette. I actually didn't want this one. I wanted the other palette that they released last year for Christmas. But then when I saw the swatches, I was like, that's just all mattes with glitter. I do not want that. So then I looked at the swatches for this one. And this one is mad pretty. This green, like you can see which ones I've swatched. They look disturbed. Um, like everything here is so pretty. This white shade over here is like a duochrome. Like it's not white. It's like pink if I remember correctly I don't know it's not showing here but this is mad pretty and I specifically wanted it because look at that packaging that is so pretty like I can put so many different shades in here but the packaging is just everything and it's that luxe one like the limoncello which is my favorite palette so yeah and last, maybe least, <laughs> I literally only bought this because I had the square pans and some good colors. Like all of the greens essentially was the thing that threw me over. Because when people were like swatching in their declutters, they were like, oh, I should keep it for this, for that. And every single time, what did they swatch? The greens. And every single time I went, ooh. So yeah, you can see right at the edge where my thumb is, that green is like duochrome -y. And then that's like a deepy deepy deeper green and then it's just a whole bunch of browns i had the collection from i had the palette from the make it black collection so if i ever wanted to make like a quint i can take those shades out and put these in of shades that i just really like because it's the square pans same thing like the fade into hue i wanted because it was the square pans but now they made better rainbow palettes in the bigger sizes so i just get the circle pans for that um but yeah i just got this because it was the square pans and the greens so i don't know why i haven't even used the greens but that's the only reason why i got this as you can see i've swatched it heavily but just never put it on my eyes which i think is my main problem for most of these palettes that i buy is that i get them because they're pretty and then i look at them i swatch them i touch them they exist in my mind i don't forget i have them but i just don't put them on my eyes <laughs> like right now we are sitting on a storage box of just palettes and, and also other stuff like you can see beauty blender um but i have a lot of these palettes and all of these i've used at least once but all of the ones i'm showing you here today i just didn't for whatever reason or another 
and most of these are old not new like I've actually been making an effort to use my newer palettes so those have been getting used but all these older ones that I got maybe earlier this year maybe late last year for some reason they just they just don't get used so yeah like comment subscribe uh tell me what palettes do you have that you just never used even though you like it even though you want it it's not a declutter you just haven't used it um yeah do all that good jazz and i will see you in another video bye